your ridge hiking tip of the trip. When you're hiking these ridges, you know, they're very narrow, very muddy, really overgrown on both sides. Um, when you get higher into the mountains, it gets boggy, so it's never dry, really, always wet. So, you may often be tempted to uh, step, step off to the side in the ferns to avoid, um, to avoid a big puddle or going, you know, ankle deep into the mud. Sometimes there's nothing there. Sometimes the ferns are growing off the side, which means that if you step there, your foot will go and you will fall and slip. This is not always the case, but that is your tip of the trip for hiking in the Kola Mountains. Always be careful where you put your feet. A lot of people on a trail today but most of them are going to the to the waterfall and I'm not distance is the Boy Scout camp so that's where I'm headed for now it's not the end <clears throat> this is around the time that I usually think about turning around going home uh, you know there's always a hesitation to keep going for some reason you know probably because I don't want to be in the comfort of my home versus the relative discomfort of the mountains but that's kind of the point though isn't it taking a break it's tempting to just camp right at this nice little spot right here but my spot that I'm camping at is over the next hill so I'm almost there but man I'm tired and um, yeah it is what it is
Well, this is new. Looks like erosion, I think. Um, looks like the the trail just fell away, and then I don't know, maybe pigs came over here and then started doing stuff. But looks like a erosion of the trail to me. There it is, right over there, off in the distance, but pretty close, that's where I'm headed. Looks like some rain is misting in, so I might wrap the camera shoots. set up uh, I got my tent up that's usually my first thing that I like to get done when I get into camp is I set my tent up just in case it starts to pour I can just toss all my stuff in a tent no problem but um, yeah I'm gonna start setting up my um, camp for the night I got my tent set up and my campsite relatively set up uh, let's take a look so I'm using the Mountain Laurel Designs Pyramid Tent. I think this is the Super Mid. So really like this tent. Um, I have it all staked out, many different, many different tie-out points. Um, coming inside the tent, I have my sleeping quarters there. Um, I have my ultralight cot. It's just the Thermarest cot with the uber light air mattress and just a regular old Amazon sleeping bag. Um, the brand is like oh hoo hoo or something. And then my chair, my Nemo Moonlight chair, pack, Trangia stuff, my Snow Peak bucket with my incidental things. Um, so yeah, that's the campsite. Um, it's pretty cherry. On the menu tonight is the famous mountain stew. Um, this one is a little different. I want a little bit simpler because I'm trying to reduce my pack weight. So I need to do simpler stuff actually, less less involved. So uh, and I'm not making rice. I brought some macaroni noodles. So it's basically going to be kind of a curry beef. Uh, tomato stew with uh, macaroni noodles so looking forward to that I brought um, I also brought some Kohana rum um, to drink so I'm gonna get started on drinking that too so yeah now we're just gonna relax until the Sun goes down and go to sleep
Well, that didn't work out all that well. One pound beef strip loin kebab from Farm Lake. One in a pot. Pound of beef in the pot, baby. Dinner's almost ready. The sun is still quite high in the sky. I'm kind of worried about getting sunburned, but eh, it's past 5.30, so hopefully any of those burning rays are done already, but you know, um, yeah, I'm happy to be out here. I'm really happy to be out here. I'm glad I did it. Um, it's, it's special to be out here. And um, I don't always follow through with it, so I'm happy that I did. Um, I'm happy that I brought this gimbal. I'm, the main point of this trip was to test the gimbal out, and so far it's been pretty good. So, yeah. I'm about to grind. So tonight's the menu is mountain stew. Um, I didn't make rice this time. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a curry. It's like a curry beef stew with some macaroni noodles. Um, So, curry beef stew, macaroni noodles. Here we go. Hmm, it's really like cool, I think. All right, so it's kind of cooled down now. Let's eat. I'm hungry. It's still hot, but it's more edible. The meat 
that I used. Um, not really as suited to long cook, but it's what I had, so I used it. Still really good. That was a great meal. Um, <clears throat> one of the best, one of the best ever, I think. Maybe for a variety of reasons, <clears throat> but I just feel really good. I'm gonna go to sleep feeling really good. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows how I'm gonna feel when I wake up tomorrow, but. <clears throat> Tonight, I'll probably be listening to Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Um, interspersed, maybe. If I can't sleep, then I'll probably put on Harry Potter, one of the books. So those are my kind of go-to. Well, Harry Potter always will be able to put me to sleep. So, but yeah, that's what's in the earphones tonight. out here um, nice nice gray morning like I said it was it was raining pretty hard last night um, but <clears throat> uh, I just have to be careful on this first little bit going back it's kind of muddy but should be fine uh, Rain has stopped a little bit. It still looks gray coming down from the mountains, but you know, it's nice to be outside over here. Um, keeping my eye on that gimbal on that little table. Alright, heading out now. We're suited up, suited up, and booted up, and we're ready to go. So, wish me luck.
uh, this is how I'm going down. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. <laughs> okay. We're gonna lay our sweet baby angel right there and then see how we can shuffle down this. So, get stick um, we we get stick and then we toss stick down because then we get camera cameras so the sketchiest part of the of the hike is done that really big drop um, that's not to say that the rest of the hike isn't sketchy it could very easily be but the hardest part is over with so I've been hiking this trail pretty much my entire life I used to come with my dad and my brother and we'd camp out so it's funny like certain parts of the trail like have certain memories so yeah it's just interesting I'm just looking at this um, this portion of the trail right now and uh, just having memories memories of hiking and camping Just past the Boy Scout camp picnic table. So we're pretty much on the, not quite the home stretch, but we're in the easy part now. So uh, there may or may not be reason to film anymore. We'll see. But um, thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I could use I could use the support for this. But um until next time.